Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Sketching Fine Art. Uh, today I'm doing a quick sketch, uh, an abstract sketch. Uh, it, one, one of my favourite types of uh, kind of art is abstract art, uh, purely because um, it's. I, I feel that it's uh, just expression. It's just pure expression uh, of uh, who you are, and there really is no bounds in it. So there's there's no limitations. There's no rules or anything like that that you've got to worry about all the time whether it be perspective or you know color or you know reality or realism it li literally is whatever you want to draw or sketch you do it uh why why would you want to do that basically to make you feel good or because you want to do it simple as that so yes yeah, so this is one of my favorite types of art um again uh, to, all I'm doing is using uh, shapes, lines, uh, trying, trying to create some textures um, and just using simple basic tools uh, if, if, if I need them such as like a couple of uh, pennies uh, that I had to draw the circles around and, and a ruler. Um, I had no plan for this and I tend never to really have a plan of what I'm drawing. I usually do these um, in the evening after I'm kind of like, uh, after I've done all my chores and finished work and done all my client work and projects. Um, and it's kind of um, uh, a winding down exercise, uh, just a bit of a relaxation. And I really suggest that you try this out if you haven't done it before. Um, it really, really is uh, very good, uh, very good for your uh, kind of like, you know, for you to just, you know, ease down towards the end of the day. Uh, and that's purely because you don't have to think about what you're doing. I mean, you can think about it. You can plan something really, really intricate and, you know, uh, something that's quite, you know, s amazing. Uh, but for me, I, I like to do this type of exercise where it's just pen and ink uh, on a piece of paper uh, at the end of the day just to relax, just to wind down. So uh, par pardon the um, the funny sounds that come in the background. That's just my 11 um, month old baby who's just sat next to me while I'm doing this recording um, so yes uh, so yeah so um, I hope you've also tried out the 30 day um, sketching challenge uh, part of my get back into art series um, and if you haven't absolutely recommend you do um, because I did that challenge and ever since I kind of did that challenge I've been drawing every day whether it be abstract art whether it be do a little bit of realism using uh, an iPad Pro digital art or traditional art it really really helps uh, maintain that motivation um, and uh, I guess one of the uh, main advice uh, that I can give is that uh, when you want to get back into art start small don't try doing a huge massive project or you know getting out a big huge a3 piece of paper I mean I wouldn't even get out an a4 piece of paper I'd start on really small uh, sizes like maybe a5 or uh, you know a six inch by six inch uh, you know square to just start off on because what happens is you end up getting demotivated really quickly especially if you haven't done it for a while um, or if you you know coming in from scratch and you've never really gone into art it can just be so overwhelming you know a huge sheet of paper and you know whatever tools or mediums you decide to use um, uh, it, it can like you know the first 10-15 minutes can be quite daunting uh, and then when you start then you know if you make errors or if it doesn't turn out how you wanted it to it just becomes like uh, you know a, 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 a horrible experience and you just end up giving up and you just can't be bothered with it anymore so I would suggest start slow and again I would probably suggest try doing some abstract uh, work where there's no rules or limitations uh, you know like what I'm doing today um, uh, you know just just practice doing lines and patterns and circles just to kind of warm yourself up i mean you can even do this in the uh, 30 day sketch challenge you don't have to pick an item to draw you can just sit down and you know for 30 days just uh you know spend 10 15 minutes on you know just coming up with some abstract uh, shapes and lines so uh so i would really recommend it um uh, do look out for my book. I am currently in the process of uh, writing my uh, book, which is uh, the Get Get Back Into Art series, and that will complement the uh, videos that I have on this channel. Um, 
and yeah so uh so again uh, in the end of the day I, I usually get asked uh you know what materials do i use so today all i'm using is my standard uh fine liners um i can't even remember what they're called uh pigma micron fine liners but what i'll do is i'll leave a, a links in the description below of uh, all the materials that i used in today's video and i'll also leave links for all the other materials that i will be using and that i have already used uh in the uh links below um but yeah, today what I did with this was I actually did this drawing in a in a brand new sketchbook, and I've not used I've not done sketch you know these type of drawings in sketchbooks before. I tend to use single sheets that I um, just have on a table, uh, probably A4 size, and then going up. Um, but I decided that I'm going to set myself a bit of a target for 2018 that I'm going to try doing um, one of these sketches maybe every day or every couple of days to kind of fill this sketchbook in. Um, and I th you know it, it was kind of a, a new experience really for me to actually you know try drawing something in a sketchbook um, uh, that that's abstract. I mean, I've, I've I've got sketchbooks and I do my concept art in uh, sketchbooks and my more realism type of things, um, more fantasy art. But I've never really done abstract art because for for me, I've always felt that abstract is it's just uh it's just one of those things that it depends what mood you're in or you know what you want to try achieving and again with today i didn't really want to achieve anything i just wanted to start making some patterns and lines and uh kind of just get it on paper um and i really enjoyed this because it was i, I wasn't again i wasn't restricted with uh, you know worrying about is there perspective is there not or you know shading or shadows drop shadows or anything like that um and not even angles i wasn't i didn't really care about whether the angles worked or whether they didn't it just i just wanted to get something on paper and at this stage what i decided to do was i wanted to just fill in the um outer edges with black so i went in with a sharpie but unfortunately with sketchbooks they're not usually uh, as thick to be able to take um you know heavy ink work um so they do tend to bleed and i found that with um the sharpie when i used the sharpie it did bleed um and I, what I did was I put a piece of paper underneath just to make sure it doesn't bleed onto the next page, but it did actually bleed, so I was a bit uh, disappointed with that. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, but hey, I'll, what I'll probably do is on the back uh, reverse side where the bleed was, I'll just go over over that area with the Sharpie again so I can continue in this uh, book. So yeah, so all I'm doing here is just using uh, kind of like a stippling um, effect. Uh, but very loose stippling effect, so not eff effectively dots, but kind of loose dots where I go towards the end, the, the bottom of the page, just to kind of create an effect of a dimension, really. I mean, it's it doesn't really represent anything. It's not representational art. It's just abstract expressionism, this. Um, and it's just something interesting to look at, uh, if you like, detailed type of work. Um, and, and I love detailed work. There's some artists that do some unbelievable uh, drawings and artwork using pen and ink uh, on uh, abstract uh, detailed work it's just mesmerizing um, but yeah so I think uh, with this sketchbook that I've got um, I'm gonna stick to the theme of just abstract um, uh, pen and ink uh, artwork um, and maybe I might start uh, some some abstract work in, abstract work in uh, digital form, maybe on the iPad Pro. But I have found in the iPad Pro that, on, especially on the digital side of things, it's not really as it's not really as I don't know. The experience just isn't there. So I'll see how it goes. So thank you so much for your time and help. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video as much as I um, enjoyed making this artwork. Thanks for your uh, time and your support again. Please subscribe to the channel for more content. Please give the video a thumbs up and please share this channel with others so we can all learn from each other and please continue sketching. So take care of yourself and peace.